In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of resources for bringing music into student projects in the classroom. The first thing we're going to look at is jamstudio.com. Jamstudio.com allows students to create their own musical tracks, sort of like GarageBand, but online, all you need is a web browser. One of the problems with Jam Studio is that you need to pay for it unless you're in education. And in order to get an educational account, all you need to do is go over to Jam Studio, click right down over here where it says in the classroom, pause that, and you click on apply for a grant. If you do that, you'll get a grant for 200 student accounts in your classroom. It's simple, it's fast, it only took me a couple of minutes to get that set up as long as you have, of course, valid information. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick demo, and it works great for people who don't know how to compose music, such as myself. I'll give you a little example. So over here, I'm going to be putting in my keys. I'm going to put in C. And the next one I'm going to put in is A minor, F, and then C. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the play button, and I'm going to leave this on loop page. And what I can do is I can get a feel for the type of song that I'm making. So here you go. So there you go. Now if I like my little musical creation, uh, what I can do is if I have an account and I'm logged in, I can click on MP3 Mix. I can give a title to this song. I'm going to call it Test. And if I click on OK, I'm going to get an email with that song. Now you're not going to hear the instruments come in slowly one and one. That was me being a show off. But uh, you will actually get the song with all the instruments, the ones that you choose. And uh, if the student wants, they can add in more keys and chords. So here you go. A couple minutes later, I get an email with a link to download the file as an MP3 file. I can click on that. It will download the MP3 and I'll hear the MP3. These MP3 files can be inserted into other projects, iMovie projects, Web 2.0, and so on. The next resource we're looking at is from a website called Incompetech. The neat thing about Incompetech is that you can go here and download royalty-free music to insert in other projects, such as iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, or whatnot, and download these music files in MP3 format. I'll show you how it works. So if I click on royalty-free music, I can choose by genre, by feel, or by keyword search. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to choose by feel, and let's take humorous, and I can even combine if I'd like, but for now I'm just going to keep it as humorous. And let's say I scroll down, and we'll go over here to Radio Martini. If I like that song, I can click on download. And as you can see, I'm asked to download as an MP3 file. If you'd like more information about the specifics of the royalty-free music on this site, what I suggest you do is click right over here on MusicFact. 